guys, today I'm going to share four different French words used in English, but that we actually don't use in French. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Beltier Academy. Diving right in, the first one is French manicure. So how do you say manicure? You say manicure, une manicure. And actually, if you want to say French manicure, you might just translate and say manicure française. No, c'est pas ça, that's not it. You actually kind of use an anglicism or an English word, but with a French accent. La French manicure. <laughs> so literally, that's how you would say it. The second one is, ooh, maybe not for 18 under, I don't know, is French kiss. So if you're thinking you know or you can identify or picture what a French kiss is, well, we don't say French kiss. We say, se rouler une pelle. Se rouler une pelle. Now, if you're looking at that, you're like, really, Rochelle? Literally, that means to roll a shovel? Yeah, think of it like this. You're rolling a shovel, and the shovel is your tongue. So the actual French kiss in French is se rouler une pelle. And it's very important as a little tip here to learn the entire expression that goes with it. So learn like the verb and the whole expression as a whole instead of just learning the equivalent or the translation. I have two more for you and a little bonus tip. But before I share them, make sure you click on that subscribe button so that you can be notified of our next epic video. Numéro 3, the O, oh, and you're like, wait, you're putting your fingers like this. Isn't that in English like this? Well, when you grew up in France, you actually place your numbers like this. If you want to know more about how you would say the numbers in French, but also how you would use them on your fingers, you're going to want to watch this video next. Let's continue on to the next one, French toast. What? You can't say French toast? It's not pain français. Well, we have over 400 types of breads in France, so no. We actually say pain Perdu. Pain perdu. Wait, wait, wait. You mean lost bread? Absolutely. Pain perdu is like lost bread because instead of wasting the bread away when it became kind of dry because the French make their bread fresh and it can get dry because there's not all that chemicals and all the different additives that they put, well, they use pain perdu. Instead of it being lost, they're making what we call French toast. And if you're like, hey, I'd love to see how a baker makes bread, this is the video you're gonna wanna watch next, next, so that you can learn how bakers make French bread in France. And hey, if you wanna learn a good recipe on how to make pain perdu, comment below and I will create that video for you. The last one is French braid. So we don't say French braid, we braid, sorry. We do not say French braid, we actually say une tresse African. Hey, for us it's an African braid. For you, it could be a French braid, but for us it's an African braid. And I actually kind of lied, there was more than just one of the ones I said. We don't say French fries, we just say frites, because the French didn't invent the fries in the first place. So why call them French if they're not? They're actually Belgian. So frites is just French fries. And here is, as I promised, a little bonus tip or a bonus word, should I say. It is the word Frenchy. Well, you might think we would never use that in French, but it's become an Anglicism we've adopted. So we actually say a Frenchy and we automatically know what that means. It's like an American looking at a French person, but we have our equivalents too when we call Americans. And it's not just Américain, it's Ricain. You're like, what? If you want to learn more about French slang, you should watch the entire series of French slang videos that I have so that you can learn French slang. A bientôt tout le monde!